Hello. I broke my fast. So recently I had a conversation with my dad about extended fasting and some of the spiritual breakthroughs that people can have as well as physical breakthroughs. And it really blew me away that my dad has done a 10 day fast. Some other people in their church have done 21 days, 40 days, even 50 days. And he recommended a book that I will, I'll post a picture here. And I ordered the book and it just has testimonial upon testimonial of breakthroughs that people had for themselves, but also in interceding for others with fasting and prayer. And so I just wanted to do it right away. I know that I can fast, I am metabolically flexible. And so I decided that I would do a five day fast before I head off to my retreat and started out strong. And then I did a workout yesterday at CrossFit and I felt like I felt like I was modifying the workout so that I stayed in fat burning zone and I did test my blood sugar, tested what I was burning when I got home and I was burning pure fat and I felt it. But then I really felt like this is not the right time. Why? Because we have a ton of house projects going on. We are looking into potentially moving. It might fall through. So I don't want to make like a for sure statement, but it's a big process and we might be flying out to Tennessee and I'm getting ready for my retreat and that requires me to do tons of, you know, going to the home improvement store to get bins and getting supplies and gathering all together. There are so many details that go into this retreat. I am definitely like staying busy for days prior. It even starts actually months prior when I plan the menu, I order the meat. I mean, there's so much that goes into it and thank God, I really feel like I'm good at these types of things, planning big events, but I just don't feel like it's the right time to fast because I want to work out <laughs> hard. Work out, working out is one of my forms of therapy. It, it enhances my focus. It enhances my productivity and enhances my sleep. And yes, fasting can actually enhance all of those things, but the level of stress in my life right now makes me feel like fasting is not the best thing to do right now. So I will plan to do an extended fast when I get back from my retreat and I can kind of lay low and, and just take it easy for a while. So I just wanted to share this because I think a lot of people beat themselves up if they break a fast. And I just wanted to share that one, if you're new to fasting, it's very normal to have to try a couple of times. Two, it's gonna be uncomfortable. There are gonna be moments where you're like, I just really want to break this and I would encourage you to push through it, but I would also encourage you to consider your circumstances and consider your priorities. You know, is it the best season? Is it the best time? I really should have considered those things before I committed to the fast. So what I wanted to be a five day fast ended up being a 24 hour fast. And I really believe that you can still get benefits from different types of fasting. You could do alternate day, you could do one meal a day, you could do five days, 21 days, you know, work yourself into it, but also just make sure that you're in a good season of life. When my dad did that 10 day fast, he took time off of work because it would have been too stressful to do his work and also fast at the same time. And I think that is very wise. So this is just me being open, sharing a lesson that I learned. And finally, the last thing I wanna talk about is I used to see stressful situations as the perfect time to fast. And that was when I was constantly in fight flight mode. When I was almost homeless and I met Tyler and he said, you can move into my spare room. I fasted for three days um, because that move, it was like a decision was made. I had to pack all my things and I had to move into this person's house. And so I just fasted and I look back and it was like, it was easy because I was already in, in fight flight mode and I don't think it was the right thing to do for my body. Now that I've healed and I am not in fight flight mode all the time, I really appreciate properly nourishing myself. I appreciate being in that state of rest that I didn't even know back then. So what I'm trying to say is fasting was easier for me then in some ways because I was already in the mode where I felt like I don't need food. I'm already running on adrenaline all the time. Now it's kind of like, oh wow, this is a major shift from where I usually am, which is super like restful in that um, flow zone, that flow state of mind 
which is a real state. It's where you just like flow from one activity to the other and it just feels really good. You're really productive. You have great focus. I'm there most of the time. Praise God. And it's because I'm properly nourishing my body and my brain. I was just never there before. So fasting was easier in a lot of ways. And so that's something that I find really interesting now is fasting is, even though I'm more metabolically flexible, fasting is not something that I want to do in my flesh. And I'm excited because that presents a new challenge. So I will definitely consider, you know, when is the right season for me to do an extended fast? And I'm excited for that. I created a fasting circle on the fasting app and it's that's a free app and it's just a fasting circle so I can see, you know, if other people are in my circle. So the next time I do an extended fast, which I'm sure will be around the corner, I will be sure to post that on my Instagram story in case anyone wants to join me. So I just wanted to share. I'm learning from my experiences and that's how life goes and I'm super grateful. I hope you guys have a great day.